<laughs> so my presentation is going to be very different from Meera because I'll not be going for any code. I'll literally be just talking about uh, uh, war stories, literally peaceful evenings, nothing was supposed to happen. And all of a sudden there is a, so I think that if I had a back, backdrop behind me, it should have been a uh, explosion, but my puppy was there. So I was, I kept looking back. So uh, let's go with the first one. So this happened. So I have a, to give a little context, uh, uh, in the last decade of my career, I think most of my years have been around consulting and that has helped me to deal with startups, organizations of various scales at different points. I would have uh, uh, clients who would be coming to me for a week long project and some would be much longer. So this was one of the longer projects and uh, I was uh, asked to help them out during the release. So what happened is that there was this uh, very uh, highly anticipated startup and uh, they, they posted their product on Hacker News and all of a sudden it blew up. So I think that is how normally it happens, right? You put it on Hacker News and all of a sudden everybody remembers you. But you know what happened the next day? The business person comes to the tech team and they're like, we got 500 upvotes on Hacker News, but how could we make only 20 sales? Then uh, people asked him that, hey, where were you looking at? They were like, oh, we were just looking at the slave DB. So, so as it happens, the replication that they had thought was statement-based replication on MySQL, and some of you might already be knowing that what might have happened. Basically, there was, while the statement-based replication was happening, all of a sudden, uh, there was an error due to which the lag kept on increasing, and instead of around 200 sales, all the data that the business team got was 20 sales. And the funny thing is that uh, when I started uh, asking them that, hey, uh, didn't the system uh, set up any alarm or something? They're like, oh, do you monitor SQL? I was like, I think so. So that's the point that many a times, these small, small mistakes, we make a small decision, but the repercussions of that small decision can literally affect the whole business. The business was flying blind for that many hours because they did not know what was happening. So this is like something which was like, even with a small mistake, so much can happen. Then uh, there was another very funny incident that happened. Another, I will not call it a war story. I'll call it a campus story. So a very big MNC approached some big organizations to develop a, uh, a software for uh, recruiting in the campus. But then they realized that they don't have the budget. So what do they do? They just ask a uh, college student to build it. Uh, so uh, in the intro uh, and looking at the names, I know that a lot of people are from the Ruby community and this uh, gentleman decided to use ROR, the latest version, because he wanted to learn something new. And uh, he went for uh, the validations on the model. So now imagine what might have happened. Now all of a sudden the students cannot submit the detail because you have put a validation on the model, but you did not realize that the validations, a lot of the validations need to be put on the database level because they are never, the said gentleman did not even realize that there can be race conditions when you use the ORM. So I think the over-reliance on ORM was something that the gentleman learned very quickly. Uh, I think he learned it before even joining the workforce, which is like, I can say a, a very good thing, but that definitely was like something funny because the people were like, we built a software to get students details and nobody could submit their details because of the unique constraints that they have put. Uh, the next two watch stories are very simple. I think everybody can understand this. There was a table, billions of records. Somebody just ran a migration on it. Imagine on a Friday night when your site is supposed to take all the reservations in the world, all of a sudden, nobody can do anything because you ran the migration. So, hot for the day, hot for the whole future, try not to run it on Friday nights, but I think a lot of people love to do it on Fridays and have reliability still. And one of the most classic one was that uh, the ops team was not told that, they, that the tech team is migrating from MySQL to Postgres. So, and they had all their reports configured for MySQL and uh, it was damn funny for some time after which it got serious. But I felt that this is like something which happens and a lot of us uh, kind of underestimate how important communication is. So it's not only about the SQL syntax, but it is much more because uh, with this data, businesses are built and burnt out. Yeah, 
I think uh, yeah, this is all the bot stories I had from my side.